Brie Larson's quitting YouTube? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and yes, it looks like Brie Larson is slowing down her YouTube channel. And I have some thoughts on this. This is not a I hate Brie Larson video. I thought it actually might be interesting to go through this channel and figure out what happened. Now, there's two ways to cover this story. Uh, one way is to say Brie Larson announces big career news and emotional video. Brie is stepping back from YouTube. Uh, the other way is to say Brie Larson is done with YouTube proving Captain Marvel rumors right. Which way do you go, guys? Well, look, let, let's go with the salacious angle first. Before I go through the uh, channel, as a content creator, I can give you some insight on my thoughts on it. But let's go through what the uh, the rumor mill is saying. Now, this <laughs> take this with a massive grain of salt because it comes in from Doomcock, uh, who recently said, according to a number of sources, Disney is not happy with Brie and they have taken notice that our YouTube channel is tanking. The Mouse House does not like the stench of losers, even woke losers. And unfortunately for Brie being in such a high profile position as the base or face of the MCU moving forward. Oh, Jesus. She has made it very easy for any objective analyst to look and see for themselves that it is not that this is not a popular woman. The notion that our YouTube channel is tanking is one that we can confirm for ourselves. Disney may be ready to scrape the mold away. Uh, while it's not set in stone that Brie is gone, she's currently on very thin ice. Disney has been paying attention to the downward trajectory of her YouTube page. And trust me, they know people don't like her. Oh, my God. That's just such desperate, lazy reporting. I don't buy it for a second. I just don't. I don't buy that for a second that Disney would ever stop her YouTube channel because I don't believe these people are watching her YouTube channel. Now, I will acknowledge the views aren't great. The views definitely aren't great. But if you go look at The Rock's YouTube channel, which he still posts on regularly, he's not doing that great either. So this idea that they're so worried about her numbers. Guys, go back and look at The Rock's first uploads. They were uh, the same, if not sometimes worse, than what Bree was posting. 193, 96, 93. You know, he had some bigger ones, let's be fair. I mean, there's 46 million to Rock Reacts. She never had, like, a big hit out the gate. That's true. 78,000. I mean, it's these are, you know, 66,000. Uh, it really ran the, the chain. It, it wasn't that impressive. If you go look at Bree's numbers, you got, you know, mostly about 100 to 200,000 is what she's been averaging every week. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'd say that's not a failure. It's definitely not a failure. And then obviously she's had a few that hit a million. If you look at it, her first one, this 2.5 million, uh, 1.2 million when she does her workouts. And I actually wanted to like be on top of it. So I looked at some of her workouts. Like, you know, she struggles in her workouts. She seems like she's not completely fake, which everyone sort of calls her. But my biggest criticism of this channel and looking at it and everything else is she plays it like it's her channel, but it's all her marketing firm, like her PR team that does the channel and edits it and puts the aesthetic all together and creates the thumbnails and makes chap. They do so much work for it that it's just, it's a little fake to me for her to be seeming like, yay, I'm the YouTuber. She definitely takes time to shoot and make the video. Like I'm our heroes, but I'm sure she has meetings with her team who to say, all right, well, what are some topics we're going to do? Brie, which one do you like? Cool. I'll do that one. And then she goes and sh to her credit, it does seem like she goes and shoots the video. Uh, and then she hands it off to her team to sort of edit it. And she probably approves and then they post it. Um, and look, most of your big famous YouTubers, they all do that too. She's a massive celebrity, so I, I can't knock her for that, but I can say it doesn't seem as genuine knowing in the industry, like this isn't really your channel, Brie. It's like a publicity stunt. But at the same time, in looking at some of the videos, yeah, I think there were a few videos that she got to show herself clearly, uh, and show some of, you know, who she is and people are going to, you know, dog her for that. And a lot of people are going to relate to it. And I think she sort of had both happening to her uh, while she did this experience. At the end of the day, though, she's starting to shoot more movies now. The pandemic's wrapping down. Uh, and I think she's realizing the big takeaway, in my opinion, isn't that there's a Disney outrage. I think the takeaway is she's realizing this job is hard. It's very time consuming. <laughs> yeah, this is a job for us. It is. When you produce and you're hounding the news or you're doing it, you're producing content regularly and lots of it. Guys, it's hard work. Uh, and, uh, you know, YouTube promoted her early on, but it doesn't seem like YouTube's promoting her as heavily as they used to. Uh, and uh, she's not really clicking through on, like, 
It's just, it's, it's a, when you look at it, it's just a hodgepodge of things that really relies on do you like Brie Larson? And I, I can't, my takeaway in looking at the numbers, it's definitely not a runaway smash, but I, I can't say she's a failure. I can say the, the views are probably disappointing. Are they worth this much time and effort for her to do? And does it help her brand? is really where the question is. She didn't even hit a million subscribers, which I assume she would by now. And at a certain point, you know, I, not to say Doomcrock's right, but it is true. It's like, you know, from a brand perspective, even if it's not Disney, but her own team or anybody, you want to make sure, like, is this worth it? And I think she needs to do, she needs to look up someone like Will Smith, who does do really well in here. He's a way bigger celebrity, obviously, way bigger roles for a longer period of time and 9 million subscribers, et cetera. Uh, and he has a team that does it all for him. He shows up and he's smart about it. He's better than The Rock on YouTube. I'll say it. While The Rock sort of, is, I think, crushes on his Instagram on YouTube, Will Smith really took over. Uh, the Rock doesn't. The Rock doesn't have a good team. He should have called somebody. I almost worked for The Rock. I say that uh, the, the 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 company that was was helping his YouTube channel. They needed me and they didn't hire me and they should have. I, I didn't take the job at the time, but uh, they, he needs somebody smart and creative to really help him out. I think Will has got that team. Will's been connecting with some really good creators and Will knows how to make some really fun videos uh, every time he's around and he does viral clips like it just and they're shorter and he doesn't always worry about week to week. Sometimes it's just he takes a couple months off. He takes a month off and then he reposts. He does it at his leisure. And I think that's what Brie Larson's going to ultimately do too. You don't just throw away a brand. It's not a massive failure. Even The Rock has stopped doing it weekly or regularly. He posts trailers when he needs to, you know, mostly promotional clips. And they don't always do well. They don't. Sometimes when he, he gets a trailer exclusive though, like this, and then, yeah, he gets 17 million views because he's putting in his contract to post the trailer. Uh, but here's, you know, regular talks that with, the, with The Rock, you'd think, Obviously, I would argue a way bigger celebrity than Brie Larson. And, uh, you know, he's 500,000, 200,000. You know, these are recent ones, too. 163,000, 83,000. Uh, you know, you just would expect 144,000 from three months ago. Uh, you know, here's 800. It, it, is this a failure? I don't think so. I think he's doing okay. It's just extra revenue that someone is probably putting together for him. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I, I think, yeah, like I think she's just realizing this is probably – I wanted this to be bigger. It's not as big as I wanted, and it's a lot of damn work. And why am I still doing this regularly to commit to this? I, I can tell you, it's a slog. And looking through the numbers, if you were to look at any of these sites, these are just estimates, guys. But basing on the numbers that I'm seeing here and sort of knowing sort of the, the, the back of YouTube, yeah, I mean, she's, I, the, these numbers are usually a little low, especially for someone like Brie Larson, who I would imagine her CPM is way higher being a celebrity. Uh, and so I'm guessing it's probably at least double this. So she's probably making, I would think she was probably making around 80 to 100K just on YouTube analytic revenue alone, probably is a safe bet. 80 to 100K on her YouTube revenue. Now, I don't know if she had sponsored deals or things. I haven't watched that closely, but I think it's safe to say she's probably in that 80 to 100 range on the, on the revenue she made doing YouTube. Now, it's not a bad salary for a regular person, right, uh, to do YouTube videos like that. And so the problem is that she's doing it through a team that she has to hire, a publicity team that I'm sure all get paid very well. So did she really make money on this deal? Probably not. And she probably thought this was a an investment in her brand that she was going to be able to turn into something like Goop or like one of the Paltrow does, et cetera. So, look, at the end of the day, we, you, people can go knock Brie all they want. I, I got issues with her, her genuineness and, and her attitude. But I, after looking at a few videos, I can see some of them. Sh I think she means well, like she's trying to be herself and be the best person and do what she can. I'm not going to hate on her. I do think some of this was disingenuous. Some of the gaming and stuff just felt like she was just trying to be topical and have people click on her. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, I, she tried something. It didn't work. I, I, I think these takes are – you can hate her all you want, but I, I think this this type of Doomcock take is the wrong take, uh, especially anybody – she's the MCU <laughs> moving forward. Look, I wasn't a fan of Captain Marvel. And, in fact, it wasn't because of her. It was because of the script. It was because of the direction. And uh, both Vito and I had to force ourselves to find positive points while also debating those points uh, on the latest episode of Best Movie Ever, Captain Marvel. Uh, in honor of Black Widow, we went back to the first uh, leading uh, female lead-led Marvel movie. Uh, 
And uh, it, I highly encourage you to go check that out. I'll put that at the end of this video, but I wanted to plug my Captain Marvel video if you guys hated the movie. Hear us out. Maybe we'll change your mind, uh, or maybe we won't. Uh, but either way, looking this through uh, and seeing what it is, my, my final breakdown for her, I think good for her. The YouTube grind is real. It's a serious profession. Respect us, YouTubers, Bree. That's what I was most annoyed with when she came out. YouTube was like, rolled out the golden carpet for her, gave her everything, monetized it, uh, URLs. It was just like, yep, welcome. You're now verify everything. And so many of us are just scrounging every day to work that grind for the, for the sake of YouTube for our living. This isn't even your main job. And it just takes away from a lot of us. And it's like, we knew this wasn't going to work, really. Like, just like, you know, it's a serious job. You got to take very seriously, not just have a PR firm do. And I think at the end of the day, look, she made a nice little fan club for herself. This is respectful. It's not embarrassing. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, she's realizing, ah, there's some funness, but this is a this is a chore. And I got to go back to work. And is this really, are these numbers really good enough to justify making all this time? Probably not. I don't think that's Disney telling her to stop because she's a failure. We're paying attention to you, Brie. Your YouTube channel is way too slow. It's way too low, and we are embarrassed to have you as our, as our leader, and we're going to fire you. Come on. Disney is so progressive, they would never, ever get caught doing that. You, like, what? I'm just like, what crazy person would actually believe this? Like, whether they thought it or not, what planet... Is Disney going to get, get away with firing Brie Larson because of her YouTube views? I mean, come on. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. There might be people there who genuinely are like, oh, this doesn't look good, Brie. You got to fix that. It's not good for your brand. Okay, maybe. Fine. Maybe that's okay. But you people think that she's going to get fired from Captain Marvel because they're paying attention to her YouTube? That's what he said. I just, I'm, I'm sorry. That's so crazy to me. Even if it was true, Disney can't do that. That's about as they've proven time and time again that they will stand up for women and diversity. They're not going to get caught firing the first leader of their movie that made a billion dollars, mind you. It made a billion dollars. So, I mean, it would look so bad for the Disney brand to just suddenly be like, yeah, we're getting rid of her because her YouTube's tanking. This is it's idiocy. Idiocy that anybody, I'm sorry, if you're, if you're getting swindled, Please wake up. I don't mean to call you an idiot, but some people are getting in I, I know somebody online is getting trouble calling Doomcox fans idiots. I'm not trying to call you guys idiots, but I'm just use some common sense on this. And why would Disney do that? We've, you can have the opinion that her show is, his channel is tanking. Okay. I'm not going to argue with you. I, I think it's, it's unfair to say it's a failure, but I will say it's not successful. But it, there's, it's, it's, it's too extreme to label this a failure. Um, but to, to say that's why they're going to fire her, that makes no sense. It makes no sense that Disney would care. So, um, is, is, do you, or do you disagree with me? Do you think Disney and her management is like, you got it. Disney wants you to stop that. This is looking pathetic. You're, you're coming back for the movie. Don't do this. I don't know. I think they would be like, great. Yeah. We're going to post some videos on your YouTube channel. They work with far less influencers. <laughs> A lot of less uh, blogs and sites are going to the thing. Don't you think having the Brie Larson channel post some Captain Marvel 2 footage, which they're going to do, mind you, so we'll see how embarrassed Disney is then. They will, I'm sure, when she's on set promoting it. There will absolutely be some Captain Marvel promotions on the char channel, so mark my words. That will ultimately prove that they aren't embarrassed by it. Uh, but uh, I want to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think? Overall, uh, I'm not going to hate on Brie Larson anymore. It, it's, it is what it is. We can just be a fan while I'm mean, not be a fan while still being respectful, I think. So hopefully you guys will be respectful in the comments down below. But let me know what you think. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for all alerts, smash the like button, and tell me what you think. I appreciate you guys. There's the best movie ever on the left. Click it. Go check it out. Have some fun. Or click the video on the right if you already saw it. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.